Now uh, we're going to do problem one of the test three review for the physics boot camp. The problem says, what is the pressure at the bottom of a lake, which is 38 meters deep? So if we want to know, uh, as we go down in water, how does the pressure increase as a function of the depth, uh, we use the equation P is equal to P atmosphere plus density times D G times H. So if you have a body of water and uh, the pressure at the surface, I'm going to assume this is atmospheric pressure because it's at sea level, right? So the pressure at the surface here is P atmosphere. And then you're going to use the density of the fluid, rho. Sometimes you can write it as D or Greek letter rho. That's the density. In this case, it's the density of water. Okay. Then you have G and H. H would be the distance that you go down. Okay. The distance that you go down. Now, the tricky part about this is uh, atmospheric pressure is one atmosphere, but you can't put one atmosphere. You can't put in your equation one plus density of water, one gram per cubic centimeter. G is 9.8. And then uh, the, uh, the height is 38. The densities of will all, the units will all get mixed up here. You will not get the right answer. This is in units of atmospheres. This is gram per cubic centimeter. This is meter per second squared. This is meter. It all uh, will uh, get mixed up. So the way you have to do it is you have to use un units of pascals here. Okay. One atmospheric pressure is equal to 1.013 times 10 to the fifth pascals. What is a pascal? Pascal is a newton per meter squared. It's the official metric unit of, uh, of pressure. Newton per meter squared. Okay, so that means one atmospheric pressure is 101.3 kilopascals. That's the other way we can write it. We could go over two places and write it as 101.3 kilopascal. So that's gonna be this one. You can't just put one. 1.013 times 10 to the fifth. What should we use for the density of water? Well, we know the density of water is one gram per cubic centimeter, but in this problem, we can't use that because we need it to be in metric unit in a kilogram per meter cube. So one gram per cubic centimeter is equal to a thousand kilogram per cubic meter. Okay, from converting from here to there, we get that. So that's the density of water in the metric unit system: thousand kilogram per cubic meter. We put that here. That's a thousand. This one now we could put nine point eight. Nine point eight. The height? Well, that's the depth that you go down. And then that's going to be 38, okay? So 38. Now we could multiply all of this. 1.013 uh, 1 times 10 to the power 5 plus uh, 1,000 times 9.8 times 38. <clears throat> and we get the pressure is 473700. 473,700 pascals. That's the pressure when you go 38 meters down in water, okay? So, now if we want to convert this back to atmospheres so we can have a, a relationship, we can say uh, 101,000, 101,000, see this is uh, 101,300. 1.013 times 10 to the fifth, 101,300 pascals is one atmosphere. So divide this, 101,300, 4.676. Now, if we assume the lake is a saltwater lake, um, you see, it says the bottom of a lake. So if we assume it's a saltwater lake, then the density increases roughly 1,030, okay? Why? Well, because you have a salt concentration and other stuff 
So the density of the water increases. So this one is going to increase a tad bit, 1.013 times 10 to the power 5. Then you're going to put 1030. Then you're going to put uh, 9.38. Uh, so this one is going to come out a little bigger. Okay? 4, 8, 4, 8, 7, 2. 484,872 pascals. You divide that by 101,300, you get 4.786. 4.786. So if it's a saltwater lake, it'll be 4.78. You can see that the pressure uh, for sea level, uh, if it is um, uh, salty water, will be uh, higher than the pressure for fresh water. Okay, so then now you can see how to calculate these. Thank you.